Well, it's not going to be enough annoying. for the yard. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be enough to annoy you when you're going to be out traveling. Yeah. Um, but outside of that, it's not going to be real beneficial. This is all going to usher in some much cooler temperatures this week. We're going to get kind of an early taste of the fall season, especially on some of these mornings coming up. 65 right now, northwest wind at 6. We've actually already had the cold front move through. How do I know that? Well, those winds have completely turned to the north and west this morning. Now, we're on the back end, so we're mixing out some of these showers. You can see a little bit damp around the metro area and really kind of widespread from Fort Wayne uh, up toward Muncie, uh, Blackford County, getting up toward, or I'm sorry, uh, Hartford City, yeah, in Blackford County, Jay County, Portland, Winchester down to the south, and then you go all the way down to the south and west. Places like Terre Haute, Greencastle, much of Owen County, northern Monroe County, uh, all dealing with pretty steady but light showers. Now, we're in the mid-60s for the most part for much of the state this morning. You're probably not going to see those numbers move much and just have some of the rain gear handy for the kiddos here through that 8 o'clock hour, mid-60s, I think, is where we hold. Humidity going to say super, super low once we mix this front out. I mean, we're talking very pleasant air, uh, not only through the end of the week, but well into the weekend as well. So we have a really nice pattern kind of shaking out here over the next several days. Overhead, there's your cold front moving through. Again, a lot of cloud cover all the way back into Illinois. So we're going to be pretty gray for a while, but know what's happening. I mean, look at these numbers now, mid-50s, lower 50s even in some areas in the northern Great Lakes. So this is that cooler and drier air that's going to be working in. And it happens as early as today. Storm Track 8 future cast as we go hour by hour. 7 o'clock probably will be a wet morning drive. The steady rain should sag down to the south by lunchtime. We'll still have some pockets of showers around through midday. Now, as we go into the afternoon, eventually the clouds will start to kind of break from northwest to south and east. There could be a few lingering showers by late afternoon, but should have a lot of dry time across our area here for the second half of the day. Our numbers are going to struggle, though. 65 by 8 o'clock. By lunchtime, I still think we're into the 60s, mid-60s, in fact, under gloomy conditions. We may get some sunshine kind of trying to break out for the second half of the day. And if that happens, for lucky, lower 70s for highs. We're going to have some areas of fog overnight down to a low of 52. Many areas will sneak into the upper 40s. And then kind of a similar setup for tomorrow, upper 60s and lower 70s as we ride through your Wednesday, which is running a little bit below average for this time of year. And we will stay below average. Very comfortable air. Next several days, we take you into the weekend. Our numbers are likely going to be kind of into that mid-70 range. So we're running about 5 to maybe 10 degrees below average for this time of year. 74 for your high Thursday, 75 on Friday. Weekend not bad. We'll be up to around 77 with a partly cloudy sky. Uh, a next chance for rain, although it looks very isolated for the northern half of the state, would come Sunday at 74. And then there are some signs that will likely warm things up just a bit heading into next week. Monday's high 76, Tuesday's high near 